episode. What's up, Mizzou Nation? Welcome to Inside the New Zoo. This is your host, Jake Bresky, the Director of Recruiting here, and I'm joined by my co-host, our Director of On-Campus Recruiting. Welcome, Mizzou fans. I'm Tori Washburn. I'm the Director of On-Campus Recruiting here for Mizzou Football. Obviously, very unprecedented times here, and, and you know we're just fortunate enough to be able to start our first day of fall camp today, and it's different this year. Media can't be around, guests aren't allowed, so how are you going to get your info on what's going on at the new zoo? Well, that's what we're here for. Not only will we give you practice recaps, but we'll hear from some of our coaches, and we have a couple fun special segments to give you an inside look besides just the X's and O's. And we want this to be interactive, so after each episode in the comment sections, we want to hear from you what questions you want answered, so when you leave a comment, make sure you always leave hashtag inside the new zoo. Hi, my name is Owen Stanley, Director of Football Sports Medicine. Um, proud to be a Mizzou Tiger now. Been uh, done a bunch of different places. Um, over 12 years of experience in the collegiate level and eight years of experience in the NFL level, including Jets and Chiefs, as well as FCS and previous SEC experiences before I got here. Excited to be back in the Midwest and be back in the SEC and here at a, at a place like Mizzou. Well, welcome to the Inside Factor on, on COVID protocols. We've been uh, doing a lot of meetings, uh, senior admin as well as SEC level. Um, we, we basically uh, treat individuals on a symptomatic basis. We've developed a specific plan for movement throughout all of our facilities, socially distancing in our workouts, both running and lifting, as well as extra precautions with gaiters and masks when we uh, start up mini camp and walkthroughs. So a lot of those things go into the mitigation of, of that virus uh, and making sure that we don't uh, contract within our own facilities. Uh, everybody has to get a wristband like this when they check in based off of uh, pulse ox temperature and symptom scores. If we do have to uh, isolate somebody, we do that immediately and make sure that the rest of the team is safe and do our proper contact tracing through Boone County Health. Also, as part of one of our processes, we uh, continue to do PCR or, and surveillance testing. So we've tested the whole team multiple times. And then what we do in surveillance testing is uh, take a section of, of a portion of the team every week and retest them so that we can get a snapshot each week of where we're at with our student athletes and create the best and safest, healthiest environment for them regarding this virus. Going into training camp, guys have done a really good job of uh, wearing masks throughout the facility and making sure that they social distance while they're in the facility. We currently and continue to social distance and wear masks in all of our meeting spaces. Uh, during that time, we also obviously have to deal with those that are exposed and or get the virus. It does happen. And we have a, a specific plan for each one individually uh, to make sure that we isolate them appropriately, get them the right nutrition, the right medical care, on a regular basis and be healthy individuals and then get back to us as soon as they serve their isolation or quarantine. We've brought in multiple individuals from a standpoint of talking with the teams. Uh, we've brought in an epidemiologist, a world-renowned epidemiologist to talk to the team. We've brought in some current MU healthcare physicians to talk to the team about the virus and also the proper precautions. As you see around our buildings as well, you'll see signs about proper precautions for, for mitigating spread of the virus and we also post that on our televisions and our weight rooms and throughout our facility as a constant reminder to these guys on how to go about being uh, fully functional within a team setting uh, but making sure that we take care of everybody and our, our brothers and sisters as we uh, work through all of this and get prepared for training camp. Buckle them up, buckle them up, buckle them up. Day 25, let's go. Let's go now, scoring points. So you gotta keep this foot planted and you gotta, whoever comes in this gap, boom, punch, okay? Because if we do that and then he runs around, we can't open our hips again, right? Unless you're as good an athlete as me. Keep going out. Remember, we're, we, we gotta block, we're cracking. So we got to be, eyes got to be on the flat, right? Hey, ah! Hey, go, 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 Mike. Go, 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 hey, go, 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 go,
Back here, tap off the back here. So get in the hand, though, you up and down. You went too far, you got to get 12, 12 yards. What's up, Coach Woods? How are you doing today? Doing great, Coach Bresky. Good to be back on the practice field, man. Excited to get back out here. Awesome. Coach Woods, talk to us about today's practice in your tight end group. Um, uh, as far as tight ends go, I, th you know, I thought we brought the right mindset and the energy. we got a long way to go. We've got a long way to go from execution standpoint, understanding the standards of what it is that we've got. Um, I do uh, appreciate, I think they jumped out here and they worked today and that's what you can ask them to do day one. Uh, we got a long way to go, obviously we got a short time to get there. Awesome, and, and you've heard pro tempo, coach talks about it, so what about the offense? How do you think they performed this first day out? Uh, probably a longer way to go as a cohesive unit. The bigger of a unit that you get, I think the more that it's going to take, the longer that it's going to take to get there. Um, I certainly, we love what we do. Uh, Conceptually, we love what we do schematically. It's just a way of finding that and communicating it to these guys. It's, there's, a, there's a difference between the meeting room and being on the practice field. I thought we did a great job uh, throughout the offseason in the meeting room. We've got a bunch of guys that can answer the questions the right way, but it's different when you got to get out here and be able to execute. Awesome. Now, obviously, you're the tight ends coach, but you're also the recruiting coordinator. So what has everything been like with recruiting in this process during this time? Well, that's a good question. I, you know, recruiting never stops. Recruiting is a 365-day process, and whether they let you bring them on campus or don't, you got to recruit them. So it's that's never signing day is going to be the same day, no matter what uh, they do. So we've um, we've got to do that. I, I've been really proud of our group. Not that you two are sitting here, but I've been proud of our group and the rest of the recruiting uh, department, and and you know what, our entire uh, building for that matter, because they've really stepped up in uh, in unique times here, and they've and they've turned, they've converted what was uh, strictly on-campus recruiting to uh, strictly off-campus recruiting at this point, and. And that's been reflected so far in, in our signing class. So we've got, a, again, we've got a ways to go to finish this class. Obviously, we've got a couple months left here before we get to the signing day world. Uh, there's still a lot of um, uncertainty out there, right? You know, we, we've got to get ourselves to no, uh, October before we even think that we might be allowed back on the road. If that gets pushed again, uh, there's a lot of factors that we still got to assume. But um, I've been proud of our group. I've been proud of our coaches. I've been proud of y'all. I've been proud of uh, the Mizzou Nation, right? I've been proud of of all the fans that have bought in and done this thing and, and they're following us and they're following the players that we got to get and they're you know they it takes all of us to win it takes all of us to sign great players so really excited to be a part of this and that absolutely appreciate it, coach so gonna put you on the spot what's our number one core value always compete always compete all right so we got a competition today okay we're gonna put you versus coach G's versus versus uh, one of our players all right okay so the competition is how many state capitals can you name in 15 seconds? Ooh. Okay, Christian, you got the time over there? All right, ready, set, go. Tallahassee, Atlanta, Columbia, Raleigh, Richmond, Dover, Annapolis, Charleston, uh, Trenton, Albany, Hartford, Providence, Boston. Time. Woo. Impressive. That was awesome. a good start. So how many did we get there? 14. So All somewhere right. between 12 and 14. Coach Woods, anything else to add from Zoo Nation? Uh, no, uh, we, we need you. We need you now as, more, as much support as we need uh, for this thing going forward. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. Coach uh, Drinkwitz used the word two weeks ago, flexibility, man. So outside of effort, right, effort's the number one thing that we got to put forth. Flexibility is the second most. So we got to be understanding. We got to be pushing forward as this thing is rapidly evolving and changing, man. We got to be ready for you to, you know, if they say you come to games, come to games. If they say you got to do this, do this. If they say you got to wear a mask, wear a mask, right? We can, what we can't do is we can't put a roadblock to us playing. We can't put a roadblock to us signing this great signing class, whatever that is. Whatever beliefs are there or aside, we got to put those aside uh, for the greater good of this team uh, and this university. M I Z. Awesome. Appreciate Amazing. it, Coach. We will Thank see you on a future Woods. episode. What um, do I get for the state capital victory? We'll see if you win. There's still some people to go. Coach. Okay. <laughs> All right, so next up, uh, while we uh, desanitize the, the microphone, we want to bring in Coach Charlie Harbison, uh, Coach Cheese, as they like to call him around here. Okay, Coach Cheese, why yes, do they sir. call you Cheese? Why do we have to go there? <laughs> why do we have to go there? Well, the fans uh, want to know. Hey, less, less is more. Less is more. Uh, because I, I like to have fun. I like to have fun. Good. All right. I laugh a lot. I like to have fun. Coach, we had our first practice out there today. Obviously, you're working with the safeties group. Yep. yep. Tell us about what you saw and then, I guess, the, the defense in general, really. Well, actually, uh, I think the guy did pretty good today for the first day. 
uh, you know, it was some mistakes. It was mistakes made, uh, communication. But for the most part, I think it was an awesome day, and we can always build from it. And you're not, you're not gonna bat a thousand first time out. So the, I think what the guys did today was was a good day. We were moving around, had some energy, communication. But we we got a ways to go. Absolutely. You are you are never short on words of wisdom for anyone on the team, anyone on the staff. What 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 kind of words of wisdom you got from Zoo Nation today? Proverbs twenty seven seventeen is iron sharp and iron so one man sharps another. Meaning, we need your help in the community. We need your help in the state and uh, uh, support uh, a zoo nation. And when we support one another, there's always blessings on the other end. Absolutely. Now, coach, you were with uh, Coach Drinkwitz at his first year at App State as a head coach. Tell him about what kind of uh, things we can expect about what he'll bring to a culture here in, in Mizzou football. Well, one thing he gonna bring is family. Uh, drink is about family. He, he don't care who get the credit. When you don't care who get the credit, good things will happen. And he's all about a, a, a building oneness and, and supporting one another. He does a great job. I had a front row seat with him. I watch him work. I watch him how he handles the team with poise. And uh, uh, nobody's bigger than the team. No player, no coach. And, and uh, uh, Mizzou Nation go love what he's bringing uh, uh, to Columbia. We had Coach Woods on here earlier. Wait, wait, not, 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 wait a minute now. Certain things you can't act to cheese. Go ahead. I do. So, obviously, you know, core value number one is what? Core value number one, always compete. Exactly. And, Tori, what are they competing on today? All right, Coach. So, we heard what? from Coach Woods. Wait a minute now. I know you got hey, it in you. you. you I know you can do you it. You even got to hear him. You should be able to. Uh, What's that? What are you talking about? Huh? You've got 15 seconds to get this to name the off as many state capitals as you hey, can. Listen, I'm not even gonna try that. <laughs> Just go ahead and put me at the end of the list. I know you got at least two. I'm not even gonna. Less is more. Less is more. <laughs> less is more, I'm everyone. Coach. All right. Anything else that that you want Mizzou Nation to know? Uh, yes. We need your support. We need your prayers, and we need everyone to mask up. And, and uh, 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 take the credit off, take the focus off yourself, and focus on someone else to help your neighbor, help your friend. That way, when you when you continue to help someone, your blessings is coming back to you. Because if you sow in the good ground, you reap a harvest. That's what we do at the Mizzou Nation. We bless one another. I appreciate well it, Coach. Yes. Thank All you, right, Coach. thank All you right. so much. Next, we want to send you to KP. He's going to be in our next uh, player segment. What's up, Mizzou fans? This is Kevin Pendleton, also known as KP. And today, you're watching the first ever take of Hot Seat Cold Tongue. What that's gonna do is give you guys an inside look on what the players do on a daily basis, as well as give you a chance to get to know them a little bit more outside of the football field. So let's check out who's in the cold tub today. So it turns out, I came in here and found our senior tailback, Larry Rountree III. To Roundtree, ready left, second level, he's gonna go. Larry, three sticks, ten, five, house. Hanging out in the cold tub. How you doing, Larry? I'm doing good. 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 Say what's up to everybody. How y'all doing, guys? I'm glad you guys are tuning in to the new zoo. Man, so we're gonna ask him a few questions so you guys can get to know him a little bit more on a personal level. All right. So we'll roll right into the questions, Larry. So it's your senior year. It's hard to believe. You know, you came in young pup. Now you are old head. If you could go back in time and tell senior Larry in high school something to help him with his game and help him in life, what would you tell him? Uh, have more confidence. Okay. Have more confidence. You know what you're doing. You know what you got to do. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. That, that's, that's hugely important for our student athletes. Our second question. So we're up here all day, every day. It's camp. We get all of our meals, which are fantastic. But what's that one meal back home that mom makes that you just wish you could have? Steak, peppers on it, rice, it's Brazil peppers, red peppers, it's so good. I'll say steak. Okay, now, now I'm hungry. I'm a large fella, it don't, it don't take much for that. But, so next, speaking of favorites, you've had a long, fantastic career, you have a lot of highlights, a bunch of great plays. What's the one play in your career that you'll always remember, your favorite play? Uh, I have to go back to Yossi again. Okay. It was my sophomore year. 
it was a uh, it was a pitch play just moving the ball and um, I made two guys miss and um, I think it was 50 yards and it was a touchdown so um, right on the sideline right, right the end of so our next question is more of a competition because you know one of our core values is always compete mm -hmm. exactly so we're gonna put you up against two coaches how many state capitals you can name in 15 seconds you ready mm -hmm. all right I'm gonna give you a countdown to go all right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Raleigh, North Carolina, we're gonna start at the crib. Yep. We're gonna um, Austin, Texas. Yep. Jeff City. Yep. Um Saint. Oh, oh, what? You didn't beat the buzzer. You didn't beat the buzzer. How, how, how many? Three? Yeah. three? It's okay. It's okay. Three's enough. We good. How you we'll see, we'll see. Gonna say the buzzer beater, man. You ain't in it. Okay. You held it too long. Now, speaking of things other than, than sports, what's what's uh, one of your, your favorite hobbies to do outside of football? Yeah. I love cars, man. Cars? I love cars, man. I like, I like Chargers, Challengers. You give a shout out to you, baby. I know, oh, man. You know what you're Oh, no. See, that ain't what I want, though. I can't. Just, just give, wait, give me a year or two. We're going to come back with a, with a demon. We're going to come back with a demon. That's our team. Can't wait. <laughs> all right, man. So, to close it all out, all right, so, you know, you're coached by a fantastic coach, Coach Curtis Luber, um, who has a lot of sayings and a lot of <laughs> things he does, right? So, give us your best Coach Loop impersonation. <laughs> 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 you can go get me a towel, KP. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta take off the mask though. Okay. Take it, okay. Hey, hey, what are we doing? Hey. Oh, what you got on this? You got that? Oh no, 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 no. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. No. Oh, what we got? You don't know it. You don't know. Nope. Nope. Next. Too late. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You sure? We got on that? You sure? All right. I'm just checking. Making sure you're good. Nope. nope. Thank you. You don't know it. Nope. Too late. All right. That's hilarious. That, that, that's, that looks just like us, Luger. I've seen that a few times. So that's all we have for you, Larry. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure these questions, we want to get what you guys want to know. So after this, get in the comments or tag us and use the hashtag inside the new zoo and leave any question you want to ask in future episodes. Stay masked up. Stay masked up. Thank you guys. M-I-Z. you. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you really enjoyed our first show of Inside the New Zoo. I thought it was awesome to give kind of a little bit of inside and, and stuff besides just the X's and O's. And remember, we want this to be interactive. All right? We want you to leave comments. We want to know what questions you want answered. Tomorrow, our guest coaches are going to be coach, uh, our wide receivers coach, Coach Hamden, and our cornerbacks coach, Coach David Gibb. All right, with that, we're signing off. M-I-Z. M-I-Z.